hey, it's this thing called Jar, guys, doing it. It's me, Johnny Sports, and basically on the edit. Welcome, my friends, to the Newcastle career mode. And uh, it should be a good one today. We are hopefully finishing up the season. At least I'm going to try to finish it up, guys. Uh, the thing is, uh, we have how many days we have left? We have a few days, a few games left here. We have Man City, Watford, Spurs, Brighton, Liverpool. Those are the games left. We have five games left at the moment. And I'm looking forward to play through these. And I'm looking forward to try and achieve the objectives. And hold on. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day, man. I hope you guys are looking forward into this episode, the season finale. We are not finishing anywhere near European football. We are in the ninth position at the moment and we might even drop down even further. Obviously, some big games coming up, but at least in the last episode, your boy has found an amazing talent. Yes, we have found a great one. It is going to be Nyasha Mugasu. That is going to be his name. But right now, 15 year old, six foot eight tall, 10.5 million value and 68 rated. We can't wait to bring him into the team. He's going to be a giant center back, and I'm so looking forward to that. But also, moving on, we have the fan objectives. Now, in the fan objectives, we obviously are struggling to get Johnny's Nightmare and the Blood Brothers done, but Awaken the Speedster is done. Ennis the Menace is done. Bench warmers on 15 out of 20, and that is, the, that is going to be the one that we focus on today. Today, we're going to try our best to get five more goal contributions with the players off the bench. That is going to be the one key thing to do. So we will have to hopefully take the lead with the team in the first half and then force the team to, the opponent to attack in a second. We have five games to get five goal contributions with the players off the bench. Honestly, I don't know if we can pull it off against Man City. They are the best team in the league, if I'm not mistaken. They were in the number one spot. And uh, yes, they are. 82 points on them. So trying it against them is going to be a tough one. But at least I can try and get one goal with the players off the bench. Also, the main comment in the last episode was this one uh, from a lot of people. Johnny Greenwood scored against West Ham when you simulated. You can add one goal to the bench warmers. And that is exactly what I've done, Matelio. Thank you very much for that comment. And thank you to everyone else who has mentioned it. You guys are paying very, very much attention to, the, um, to those types of things. So I appreciate you helping me out there. We have five more to go, boys. Let's freaking get it. Also, another thing about uh, yesterday's episode. Uh, Johnny says, I discovered the best talent ever. Davis, am I a joke to you? <laughs> Guys, I'm talking about this career mode specifically. In this career mode, this is the best talent we have found so far. And that's what I'm saying. Davis is a different kind of gravy. We don't even want to talk about the Leighton Orient talents because they were something else. Now, obviously, trying to get objectives done against a team like Man City is probably not the best thing to do. Honestly, it's going to be a tough one. Sergio Aguero coming in with six goals so far. But you know what? We're gonna get it done. I hope that was the right button. Because I can't hear myself. I'm hoping that was a deep voice. Now, we don't necessarily need goals in the first half. But it would be helpful. Kevin tries his luck there in terms of like getting the other team to attack. So if we do go up 1-0 and we go into the second half, we might have a better chance of scoring with the super subs. Because uh, they will have a little bit more space to run into. Aguero playing deep lying playmaker right now for uh, for Man City, which is a bit weird to see. But yeah, that's going to be the plan, boys. Maybe I should have put Almiron onto the bench because he would be great as a super sub. What a pass from Enis Pardi. Unreal. So Maxima. Oh, that's good positioning by Ederson. Share. Go on. Go on. Ah, Ederson again. Dude, Ederson is really good in this game. Every career mode we do in the Premier League, every time we come up against Ederson, he does really well. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Can you save that, Ederson? Did you see the unreal passing play? The team played unreal. Wow. Yo, that looked so nice. I think the pass from Saul Maximin had a flare, had a little bit of flair on it. The pass from Bardi had flair on it. Just unreal stuff. Taking the lead against the league leaders, Manchester City. It didn't... It, we made it look easy. Like... It doesn't look like this normally, boys. It never does. So the fact that we've taken the league right here, the lead is great. Kevin Folland is on 17 goals. After this game, let's make sure to check out if he is in that first position for the top scorers or if he's uh, anywhere near it. 
Oh no, it is Ikai Gundogan just running through my defense and just left footed smack into the back of the net. That's not nice to see, is it? That is not nice to see. I just realized that it didn't update the uh, clean sheets objective. We're actually on four out of 10, but with this goal being conceded and the last episode, a few games being simulated, we have no chance of getting at it anyways. I never really had any hope to getting Johnny's Nightmare done, but the fact that I only got four clean sheets in all the games I played personally this season just shows that I am the worst in terms of keeping clean sheets on YouTube, at least on uh, career mode. On Ultimate Team, hey, I can do it. I can do it easily. On career mode against the AI, poof, forget about it, dude. Forget about it. Oh, that's a great ball. Wow. Man City take the lead, guys. Aguero scores. Great play down the left-hand side. And it just shows the strength of this team. We had one moment and scored. Man City had two and scored in both of them. Just great play by Mendy. Making sure that he has the space to pass uh, the ball into. And he does exactly that. And Aguero from that spot will not miss. That's a great finish from Aguero. Um, Rubravka struggling, obviously, with that one. Because he has no time to react. 19 goals in the Premier League for him. So I'm guessing Kevin Folland is up against Aguero in the title race for the top scorer. Ennis. Ennis sees the run of Folland. Oh, it's a great ball. Watch this. Bang. Oh. This guy's left foot is unreal. What the hell is he doing? Mate, Aguero, one on one. One on one. You against Kevin Folland. It is these, his 18th goal, or is it actually his 19th already? I'm not too sure, but Aguero has 19. That I know. What a pass from Enis Bardi, by the way. Unreal positioning for that one. And it just goes right past the goalkeeper. No chance for Ederson. The power on that shot is exactly what you want to have. Accuracy as well. And it's dipping down. Just beautiful. And that takes us to 18. So we're one goal behind Kun Aguero at the moment. Let's see if we can actually score one more with Kevin Folland. Obviously, second half is coming up soon as well. So we'll have plenty of time to try our luck in the second half as well. Oh, no. No. Aguero. Aguero. Dubravka, you looked really bad on that one, mate. That looked really bad on Dubravka. Let's take a look at the replay. I think it goes right past him. I don't like what he just did there. He's positioning himself wrong. He's opening up the short, uh, the near post, and he just goes right past him. Can we see it again from this angle? It's a perfect angle to see it from. Yeah, that's that's not good. That's not good enough, man. That's 3-2. Aguero has scored his 20th goal. I guess he took on the challenge of Folland. Okay, so the first half is done now. This uh, second half is going to be very important. We're going to make the changes instantly. We're going to take off Enis Bardi because uh, he has done his deeds in this one. Greenwood is going to come in. And uh, Shira, do you go up top yet? Nah, 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 nah. We're going to we're gonna go with Brahim instead of uh, Sam Maximin. And just hope that these two can do the bits. And then later on, we're going to bring on Shira when the rest of the team is tired and try and score with him. But Greenwood and Brahim Diaz, they are the ones that we need to focus on. On this, on this matchup, guys. Sanson into Almiron. Almiron into Greenwood. Greenwood looking for Brahim Diaz. If only we could get past people here. Yes. Brahim. Brahim still going. In between two players. That's a tough one for him. Oh, here we go. We got the run of Brahim. That's the assist from Greenwood. Yes. Let's go. That's two goal contributions. Two goal contributions. That's the double. Come on. That is Brahim Diaz with the goal. Greenwood with the assist. Get in, boys. Let's go, man. Beautifully done. An amazing, amazing finish right there from Brahim Diaz. Greenwood, great pass. Okay. Okay, so that takes us to 17 out of 20. Exactly what we needed, man. We needed a double like this, especially against Man City. That's huge. Brahim Diaz with his first goal for the team. Well done, son. Brahim going to be looking for Greenwood's run. Can we get the double-double? Can we get the double-double? Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no, dude. We did it. We nearly did it. Oh, that's a run from Diaz. Diaz looking back into Greenwood. Greenwood. Folland. Folland. Can we win this game? We can. We can. It is 4-3 in the 89th minute. Kevin Folland has done it. 
and he's looking right at you, camera, because he knows you were talking about it, Aguero. He knows you were talking, oh, Aguero's the best striker in the league. Well, no, he isn't. It is this man right here, all right? Kevin Folland on his right foot, bangs it past the goalkeeper. Ederson has been beaten, and another assist for Greenwood. That takes us to three goal contributions in one game. So we have two more to go, boys. Two more to go in four games. We can pull it off. I believe in it. Go on, Greenwood. Oh, he could get one more. He could get one more. Hold on. Do I see Brahim? Ah, he could have done it. I was waiting for Brahim. I was looking at him and maybe thinking I could cut back and bring the ball into him. Sorry about the alarm. Ah, it is Kevin Falando getting it. He has scored three goals in three shots. And that is just beautiful to see, man. His, his performance has been really good. Top, top notch. And uh, we need to see that type of stuff more in the future. Uh, Aguero obviously a bit upset about that probably. But Aguero has gotten his goals himself anyway. So he's going to be happy with his performance. But Newcastle United have just beaten the league leaders Manchester City. I wonder if they are in danger of losing their title race because of this. We'll see. And the fact that we have done so well in that game really surprised me because normally on this difficulty against these teams, we shouldn't have a chance. But we might have just ruined uh, the guaranteed title chances of Man City. It is Liverpool catching up on them. And if they win their next game, Liverpool is going to take over. And I don't mind giving Liverpool the title, you know. So maybe we might have done a good thing here by gifting Liverpool the title if they do continue to win every single game from this point on it's in their hands so we have given them that opportunity ourselves now in terms of the top scorers let's take a look at what we have here Aguero is on 20 um what where's the top Aguero is on 20 Volant is on 19 um Son is on 17 Eriksen is on 15 so potentially there's a shot at making Kevin Volant the top scorer in the league as well which I definitely wouldn't mind doing. I would be very happy to pull that off as well. Who is our next opponent? Do we have a good opponent? Watford. Watford does play a little bit of attack in football. So I don't mind playing against them. And hopefully the lads are coming off the bench can have a huge impact as well. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Titaishvili into the team. And then Almiron is going to come on as a super sub. And just do his madness. Because I think Almiron as a super sub will be insane. <laughs> he will be tough to stop. To stop. So, Titai Shvili, congratulations. You're getting your chance against Watford in a starting lineup for the first time, I believe. So, we need two more. Two more to get it done, guys. And against Watford, we might just pull it off and then finish off the season. But we also would like to make Kevin Folland the top scorer. So, in this first half, we're definitely going to be focusing on Kevin Folland to try and get him to score. Because Aguero has angered me in the last match by... Coming straight back at Kevin Folland. But at the end of the day, Kevin Folland has won the battle. So who's the real winner here? That's a great pass, though. Starting off straight away. Really good pass. Pass into the middle. Kevin, let's do the finesse, man. Oh, he goes straight onto the, onto the crossbar. All right. He's ready. He's on form. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, this, is not, this is not going according to plan. Uh, Troy Deeney has scored already. It's the first couple of minutes of the game. We had a shot onto the crossbar and Troy Deeney has just scored himself. Take your face out of the camera, mate. Great passing play. It's De Lufeo right back into him and Troy Deeney just smacks it past Dubravka who can't even react. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> Let's see what we can do uh, and uh, try and attack even more. Oh, there's some space here. Not for Lacelle, though. Not for Lacelle. Calvin. Oh, that's it. That's it, mate. If you put me into that position, I'm going to score with Kevin Folland. That is his 20th goal now. He is potentially getting that top scorer. He might just do it. Great play by Lasselle joining him on the, on the attack there. And then uh, holding on to the ball just ever so nicely. And then Cameron Phillips plays it across into Kevin Folland with a great pass. Getting it past the defender. The only one that could stop him. And then it's it's just a simple finish. It's just what he does. 20 goals in the Premier League. I didn't expect Kevin Folland to do this well this season. I genuinely have to admit, I thought maybe he would get like 15 goals maximum. But the fact that he's on 20 right now makes me very happy because a lot of people at the beginning when I brought him in were like, ah, Kevin Folland isn't really that exciting. He isn't really the type of striker you like to use because yeah, you guys know I like to use strikers who have agility, strikers who have uh, speed and all that good stuff. But... Um, Kevin Folland has proven us otherwise by scoring all these goals this season. I just don't like the fact that he isn't growing, really, because if he was growing, 
we could potentially see even more goals in the future, but he's kind of stuck at that 82 for a bit now. Oh, do you see this song, Maximine? Kevin, let's do it again. Let's do it again. 2-1, Watford. Shh. Shh. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Watford. Sleep well. Sleep tight. Goal number 21. For the man that silences stadiums. He has done it with Manchester City in the last game. And now he's doing it with Watford in this game. And that will hopefully allow us to have an attack in Watford in the second half. To bring in the super subs like Greenwood, Almiron and Brahim Diaz. And just go all out attacking and try and get some goals in. Here we go again though. It's another good attack. Good passing play right here. Sanson brings it back into Kevin. He doesn't actually. So now we get countered. Unless Kevin Phillips... Yes, this ball. Oh, he doesn't. Here they come. Dini in the middle. Ooh, I do miss that. Little fail. Little fail. Get stopped. Well done by the defense. Okay, hold on. Chill. Thank you. Chill. 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 Man, what am I doing? It's 2 2. Okay, who is that? I don't even know who that is. I, I think I know who that is. If I see, if I see his name, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, Mascarel. There we go. The man that played for Schalke. Okay. Let's try better. Let's try better. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> Good game so far, though, at least. And it's well done. There goes the run of Titaishvili. Titaishvili. Why not? He tried. It was a decent attempt. But yeah, obviously, he's not really that high rated. So his finishes aren't going to be the best. As we try and jump up here with a bicycle kick with Lassell. Who now is going to get a yellow card for that tackle. This guy loves yellow cards. Kevin. Kevin, follow this through. Come on. Patrick. Patrick for the GOAT. Why is he not shooting? Dude, I pressed... I pressed the button, I swear to God. Hold on. No, 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 no. We ain't, we ain't taking that. I swear I pressed the button before he took another touch. I need to see this. See? See? When you see the arrow, that means you're already shooting. So in this position, I'm already shooting. And he still continues. He still continues. What is going on? That should have never happened. It should have been 3 too easy. We got one more minute of added time in this half. And then we're going to go into the new half. The second one. And then we're going to go ham on the substitutes. We're going to try and get some goals in. So now it is time for Brahim Diaz, Almiron and Greenwood to take over. He sees that run of Almiron. He sees it. Super sub Almiron. Super sub Almiron. I was hoping for a shot that goes a little bit higher. Too easy for our opponents to get to that. Almiron now has the space to run into. He's going to have to get past one man, though. He has an option in the middle in Greenwood. Greenwood plays it across to Sanson. Sanson, if you can score there, that would be an assist. It's a great save from their goalkeeper. I'm going to be calling Brahim Diaz to come close because I feel like I'm not really getting much out of the positions where I try to... Oh, that's not Kevin. That's not Brahim. That's that's uh, Folland. Greenwood now. Greenwood now. On his left foot. He can normally pull those off. Almiron... Almiron, Brahim, we we'll take those. We take those. That is 3-2. One more goal contribution needed. One more, guys. Just one simple assist or goal. And we're done with the bench warmers. And we will have done three out of the five objectives this season. That's going to be great. So Almiron and Brahim Diaz in the right positions there. Brahim centrally uh, might be a good option, you know, because he's very agile. And he has the five-star weak foot. If he could play as a cam with good long shots, he could he could be really good, man. Genuinely, I could see him do really well in the future. But for now, he's obviously currently only loaned in into our squad. So we have him for two years, and then we might have might have to make a decision on keeping him forever. But then we might have to spend a lot of money on him. But um, I wouldn't be against it. Sanson, Greenwood, gone. Yes, that's it. That's it. This guy is insane. Mason Greenwood on his left foot. Pure bangers at the moment, man. That is such a good finish, you know. I'm extremely impressed with that finish. It's a beautiful first time shot, which you don't see often from many players in this in this team because uh, we never really get to take these often. But that's a half top, half volley type of finish where he just takes it with power, just goes through the ball. And the accuracy on that one. No chance for the goalkeeper. And the bench warmers is done. And with that, the objectives that we can achieve this season are done as well. 
Maybe let's try and get Kevin Folland to score one more. Oh no, that's Dini. Dini scores again. It's 4-3. What are these games, man? High scoring games. Seven goals in this one. Seven goals in the last one. Let's make it eight, though. I really want eight. I want I want another one from um, Kevin Folland, if possible. Almiron, look at that pace from this young man down the right hand side. He still goes. He still goes. He doesn't care who you are. He tries to get past you, anyways. Greenwood. Folland, I can't get the ball into his feet, can I? There we go. Now, maybe. Now, nah, maybe. Go on, Kevin. Ah, that's not the finesse that you want to see. I need more power behind that finesse. And that's a horrible kick from the goalkeeper as we go into the 90th minute of potentially the last game of the season, guys. This is going to be the end because we don't have anything else to achieve in this season. We have done everything that we needed to do, apart from maybe getting one more with Kevin. One more with Kevin. He might have to do it on his own. Try and get that top scorer. It's going to be an interesting one if he can pull that off. Now, he is down the wings here with Brahim. Brahim into Greenwood. Greenwood turns, twists, does well with the dribbling. Still on the ball, plays it across. Almiron gets shoved off. Almiron doesn't give up. And that's been one thing that we have seen throughout the season. That is the end in terms of gameplay. That is the end for this season. We have achieved the bench warmers. We have achieved Ennis de Menis, and we have achieved Awaken the Speedster. I have failed two objectives, and those four feats will be coming in in the new season in the first episode. So I hope you guys are looking forward to those because it's definitely going to be funny. And uh, yeah, it, or funny or painful. I don't know what it's going to be. We'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for um, the um, for the fact that you have watched throughout this season with us struggling this much. It really means a lot to see uh, that you guys have faith in this series. Now, the new season is obviously going to be even better. We're going to have a better team, hopefully. We're going to be making... A lot of rebuilding in the new season. A lot of the people that we have in this starting lineup will have to go. We have to find players that work for us in the future. So uh, we're going to try and make sure that we do that in a new season. But now let's go into the menus and go through a few things and see if Kevin Folland can actually achieve what we're going after, which is making him the top scorer in the end. Liverpool have won 4-0. So that means they might be in that first position. We might have ruined... Man City's title chances, and it looks like we have. Man City is five points behind them. I mean, if they do win, they are still behind them. Scout update. Horrible. 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 And horrible. Yes. Great stuff. Another scout update. And another terrible one. And another terrible one. And another one. Oh, God. This is just not getting better, is it? So we might have run out of good players. Now, we do have a Spurs coming up right here. We're going to be simming against them. Obviously, there's not much to gain out of this. But the Kevin Folland goal would be nice. It's 2-0 loss. Kind of expected. Spurs is just a better team at the end of the day. Next game is against Brighton. As we are going through these, let me just quickly announce the players that I really like this season and the players that I didn't like. So in the starting lineup, as you guys know, a loss against Brighton as well. Uh, let's go through the players and let me tell you who is the player of the season and all that good stuff that you guys want me to do every season. Uh, let me just tell you. So let's put Almiron back in. I would have to say out of this team, first of all, player of the season has to be Kevin Folland. He has been unreal. Yes, Ennis Bardi came in. Yes, he did really well. Yes, he got like 30 goal contributions. But Kevin Folland has actually grown to an 83. Good. Um, the fact that he has uh, surprised me as much, as much as he has is really nice to see because he has 76 pace, guys. I mean, 76 pace isn't really ideal for what I'm trying to achieve in my games. But um, the fact that he has done so well with his left foot and also his right foot at times was really surprising. So for me, I would have to say Kevin Folland is the player of the season. In terms of transfer of the season, I would have to say... Ah, who, do, who are we saying on that case? Now, I'm not too sure on this one, but I would have to say probably Calvin Phillips. I mean, Bardi is a transfer... Of the <laughs> It's, e it's too easy, right? We have to take Body out of the equation here because he, he would just win it easily, the transfer of the season. So he is normally the number one. So you can look at Enis Body as the transfer of the season. But after him, I would have to say Calvin Phillips has been very impressive, especially defensively. His, um, his defending is just so good. As soon as he gets close to a player, 
you just put the tackle in and he just shoves them to the side and i like that about him a lot so very happy with calvin phillips N not to say that sanson was bad he was really good as well uh, but defensively uh, Karen Phillips has done a lot and Sanson as well, but uh, not as much as Phillips in terms of the defense. Sanson has probably a few more assists. I think he has had a great season in terms of assists. In terms of uh, disappointment of the season, I would have to say LaSalle. I really do not like LaSalle, man. He's really bad. So in the new season, guys, we're going to let go of Jamal LaSalle. He's going to leave us uh, right towards the end of the season. A lot of mistakes from Dubravka as well. So potentially we're going to be bringing in a younger goalkeeper that we try and upgrade through the training sessions and make him better and better as fast as possible. Because Dubravka was quite disappointing right towards the end. And he's 31 years old anyways. So we can change it up as well and keep these things in mind as you suggest transfers for the new season. So uh, please do so. Um, so yeah, th those are the things that we... Um, that we uh, didn't like, uh, the player that we didn't like, I should say. Um, and then in terms of players that I really liked from the Youth Academy, um, or the youngsters that we have brought in, so people like Shira, Sitaish, really. I'm not gonna include Brahim Diaz and Greenwood yet because it's kind of unfair on the dudes that we had in the team all this time. So in terms of Shira, Sitaish, really, Longstaff, um, Getrudia, Everett, Cielo Caminante, who we never really got to use yet. Um, Godfrey, for example, as well. The one that I liked the most personally has to be uh, Longstaff. He has been really good, especially as a super sub. When he comes in, he does his job in that center midfield position and can even play in a camp position and has really done uh, well. Obviously, we didn't get the goal contributions that we would have liked, but he's, an, uh, he's a homegrown talent at Newcastle, so we do like to see him succeed. Apart from uh, Longstaff, I also really enjoyed... Um, what's his name? Uh, Everett, when we did sub him in, he was actually quite good. And I do believe this guy is going to be quite important for us in the future. I have a feeling that Everett is going to be a beast in the future for the team. So uh, let's look forward to that. So those are the players that I would have to say were good and bad. Uh, best transfer and all that good stuff as well to go along with it. And I do think we're going to get another scouting report very soon. And a transfer fee. Ooh, transfer offer from Manchester United. I do know he has a 75 million release clause, guys. I'm aware of that. Uh, but we're going to block the offers from now on. We're not going to allow anyone to offer for Sal Maxima anymore because he's a key player in this team. I just wish he did score a few more goals because if we look at his stats this season, Sal Maxima isn't really the most goal-scoring player. Nine goals, 10 assists in 48 games. That's not too good. Almiron has more goals. That's something I would have never expected. So yeah, just seeing these stats, it's nice to see that our team is doing well um, in that as well. Some other players at least. And then you also have uh, Kevin Folland losing against Aguero in a top scorer race, which is fine. It's fine. And uh, we have another youth scout report coming in. It's the last one this season, I believe, from Argentina. And these guys all go for nothing again. We're just not getting anything good, man. What's happening? I'm looking for that the next big thing, but we have gotten, what, three scat reports in a row now that had absolutely nothing in it? That's very disappointing. I don't want to sign him. Hello, game. I want to reject him. I have to do that with the mouse? Why? Why do I have to do this with the mouse now all of a sudden? Hello? Controller? Simulating against Liverpool. That is another Premier League game that we can skip. It is uh, getting closer, or we are getting closer to the uh, new season. Again, another loss. Newcastle now in the 10th position. Not too happy with that, I have to say. But that is the end of the season, guys. We have finished it up. 10th position, Newcastle. That is how we end up. We didn't get relegated, which is huge, of course. Uh, that was the main goal that we had, especially right from the get-go where we did so bad. In terms of goals conceded, though, look at that, man. We have conceded 65 goals this season. That is too many. We have to do better in the defense. And for that, I need to bring in someone else than LaSalle. Fabian Scher has been good, uh, but uh, LaSalle has to go. And uh, maybe even in the future, we have to replace Fabian Scher as well. But for now, Scher is doing a good job. LaSalle, I'm not too happy with. Very disappointed with his movement. He has 59 pace. He can't really catch up to attackers. And it's just tough to defend with him. His agility isn't too good as well. So we need to improve the defense for sure. Uh, we have Amavi taking over the position of Jethro Willems in a new season. So Amavi is going to be on that left-hand side for us. And then in terms of the league title, Liverpool actually bottled it on one goal difference great 
freaking job, Liverpool. <laughs> I can't believe you actually messed that up. I helped you and you didn't get it done. You suck. Man City has gotten it done. Aguero has carried them to the title and he has also become the top scorer in this season. Um, Kevin Volland on 21. And then we have Ennis Bardi in the 13th position with 14. Other than that, no more Newcastle players in there. In terms of assists, Volland up there as well with 11. Bardi with 10 in the 11th position. And then we have, um, what is his name? Sanson with 9. I told you, Sanson is doing really well in the offensive side. Uh, Saul Maximin with 8 assists himself. So a lot of the players have helped each other out this season. But new season, boys. Hopefully, we will have a big budget to spend. I really, really hope we do so. We finished this season with how much? We have 34 million in the transfer budget, my friends. So that is how we finish up. Thank you so much for watching the first season of the Newcastle Career Mode. New season is coming up and hopefully it's going to be amazing. Madness coming in in the transfer window. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to go for the top six next season. 10th position this time. New season, top six and at least one trophy. FA Cup or Carabao Cup. We're going to do it in the next season, okay? I promise you that from now on. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next episodes in a new season with the full fits. Take care. Peace.